Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Rogue Tech Cold Forged. So today we're going to spend our time building our second land. So if we go to the base here real quick, you'll notice that I brought forward the Urban Mech and the Panther that we had in storage. And we've got our Spider and Commando ready to go now. So we're going to spend time today um, just getting these mechs outfitted and ready to go. So we've got a second lance up and running. Now we've, we're short one pilot still. So we'll have to make up for that next month. We're going to run one more mission with our main lance this month, I think, while these guys are getting up to snuff, and then next month we're going to have two lances running. So let's just have a quick look at these guys. Let's refit the spider here. So we've got lots of space in this guy. Um, definitely going to be our melee mech, plus 10% melee, plus 10% melee boots, plus 10% melee helmet. Um, bonus engine for speed ultralight gyro I'm thinking I'm gonna be pulling this out though because if you remember the the last episode when we fought this spider taking a lot of missile hits gave this guy a tremendous amount of instability so we're probably gonna pull those out um, still has two missile hard points in the center here but we've got these two um, support weapon hard points on the arms which are gonna be for our spike wrecking balls so we're gonna install those because we know we want those in we need to get our arms going here. So, if we go to equipment, I don't think we have any arms. Uh, doesn't look like we do. Nope, doesn't look like it. The one thing we can do, though, is if we put a 240 core in here, right, we got a top speed of 350 kilometers an hour, which is pretty darn good. But if we go with this one, the 185, 280, if we put the mask in, does it tell us? It doesn't tell us here. It gives us 40% sprinting distance. So that's still going to be a tremendous amount. That'll be another 80, mm, 100 and, at least 100, extra 110 kilometers an hour for sprinting. So that's going to be pretty darn far. So I'm thinking we're going to do that with this guy. Now we need to go by, we have hands, so let's drop these in. Perfect melee accuracy, arm accuracy, so we get these bonus to hit with the weapons here. I don't think, maybe we should put a Guardian or an Angel ECM in this guy. Defense against being hit, reduce signature on enemy sensors, reduce visibility and cover. I think we can probably put the Angel in this guy. And we're out of space. So how do we get more space here? Well, we can pull out the pirate engine. Actually, we want to max out the armor, I think, first. Let's do this as well. Which really is just giving us extra leg armor, but not much else. That's the back armor reduced, unfortunately. we still got a lot of space and weight left on this guy. We can pull out the patchwork materials. We don't necessarily need those in this mech. Uh, what else can we do here? Pirate engine, walking and sprinting distance, which is good for this guy. Minus 10% weapon heat generated, maximum overheat. I think this is probably going to be better for a different mech. So let's pull this engine out. Definitely going to be better for a different mech, that's for sure. Because we do definitely need the Angel ECM in this guy. i put that in the CT, I think. And what do we got left here? We got one and a bit tons left. So I'm thinking okay, we're going to go to... We still have to put some heat sinks in this guy. We need we need three heat sinks, so let's do that first. Are we short on heat sinks? No, we're not. So we need three heat sinks. We're gonna put we're gonna go one, two, and three. We don't need extra heat sinks, but I think what I'll probably do, uh, just because we have them, is I'm gonna drop a medium laser in the CT just so we have some ranged weapon damage here on this guy. Um, he's gonna be pretty darn fast, so I'm not too worried about whether or not well actually you know what this is what a 185 and it's six and a half tons what's our next biggest engine here 215 it's ten and a half yeah we can't really go that route I think we need these ones for the well maybe not I was gonna think of these for the panther and stuff but I think we're probably good this way so Got a ton. We got a quarter of a ton left, so I'm just going to add the armor to the back here, and we'll go. We'll go short tonnage, and that's fine. Um, we're just going to confirm this. It's going to be 13 days. 
So I'm pretty happy with that darn with that spider. That's going to be nice. I'm, I'm interested to see how far he can actually sprint and get right on top people. So let's have a look at the commando next. Actually, you know what? Let's have a look at the panther next. Actually, you know what? I know what I know. I know what I want to do with the Irby. So let's do this guy next because this is going to be fun. Okay, so we got four um, ballistic hard points here. We got one ballistic in this torso and a laser in this torso. So what I want to do. First of all, is I want to max out this guy's armor, and then we're going to look for a fusion core for this guy. Now, originally I was going to say, let's put the small one in, but I'm thinking we want to go with something a little bigger, because I want to get a bit of speed on this guy here. I'm not sure if this is going to work, so we're just going to check this. I think we need a smaller fusion core eventually. Yeah, we're going to, you know what? We are going to need it for what I want to do. So let's pull out this, let's pull out this and put this one in. We're going to have to go this route, I think, for what I want to do. So the armor is maxed out. We can reduce this by one point. And let's go with... Um, let's leave the endo steel out for now. But let's put in... Can we do hands in these guys? I don't think we can. No, I don't think we get a chance to put any of this stuff in here. Did we have corks on this guy? Yeah, restric restricted actuators. Okay, so we can't use anything actuation-wise. But what we can do is take our plus one ballistic and drop it in here because what we want to do oh we got claws I forgot all about these interesting we'll have to go back to the spider I think but we'll do that later okay so we're gonna do this and then let's go to weapons ballistic and we have got heavy machine gun array we've got a light machine gun array and another light machine gun array so we can put them all in here thinking though we're probably going to put one in this torso just in case we lose the arm. Now we got a lot of heat problems here. 25, 14, and 14. So 28, 53 heat. So we need to really dissipate that but we've got a bit of tonnage left over so we can do that. Let's go to equipment. Let's put in the pirate engine. That'll give us a little bit of extra heat or a bit of extra, sorry, space for heat sinks. So we're going to do this. Let's spread them around a little bit. Something like this, I think. We need ammo still. So let's go... Where is our ammo? Let's put in... Let's check the store. We have, I think there should be accuracy ammo here somewhere. Actually, let's just go... Yeah, that's fine. I'll just scroll down to ammo. Uh, machine gun armor piercing. Double chance to do critical hits. Uh, we really want the accuracy ammo, I think, more than anything. Yeah. AP, FSDS, ammo, eh? Nice. Um, yeah, no, I think we'll leave that for now. So, this shoots 10 rounds. Oh, that shoots 12 rounds, and these guys shoot 10. So it's 30... 32 per turn so we're gonna need at least like 200 400 rounds of ammunition at least I think that's probably a good start that's 12 turns of firing so that's pretty good pretty good so I think what we want to do is go to equipment and let's drop in one two why is the tonnage not going up? oh because we have tons of uh, why is that heat sinking going up so much? Is it because of the engine? Minus 10% weapon heat generated, so 53 minus 5, so it's 45, roughly. So it's 47. Pretty darn close, but this doesn't seem to... Oh, there we go. Now it's starting to go up. So what are we at here? 49, yeah, because we want to go to weapons and gonna go here and we're gonna add just a regular small laser to this arm so we've got tons of damage potential here 440 meters I um, think that's 320 meters 120 yeah I think that's around 320 or 240 or 220 or something like that I can't really remember but uh, and then we got the small laser at a, at a reasonable distance 220 so these should work out fine. If this guy can get into to, uh, combat, he's going to do some nice damage with this. So let's then 
confirm this guy. Right. So we got that guy ready to go. Let's do the commando next. This is the guy that's going to have all the smalls. So we want this guy to be fast. Uh, he's got a fusion core already, 155. So is it 280? So that's not bad. Pretty good speed in this guy. Let's go to equipment. And we've got hands here we can use. Come on. One, two. Let's pull out the medium laser. I'm gonna put the endo steel in. We definitely want that. And DNI cockpit's gonna be going into hmm. We want the guardian in this guy because this guy's gonna be the guy getting in close. I think maybe we're gonna put the DNI cockpit in this. I know it's gonna give us him a bonus melee accuracy, but it's the minus 10% damage taken that I want because he's gonna be in close a fair bit. So let's do this. Um, XL gyro I don't want on this guy because like I said, he's gonna be in close. I mean, I could put the claws on this guy too and have a secondary mech. That can do melee damage. Because he's going to run hot regardless, right? Let's do that. Let's just put it on this guy for now. Um, and now we're probably going to need one of these patchwork materials. And let's go to weapons. Lasers. Let's start spreading out our small lasers. Let's put the two good ones, or the good ones on the arms. Let's put a couple more in here. Can we get one in the CT? We can. I'm just going to spread them around, and now the rest are just going to be heat. Well, we've only got one heat sink left. So what's our what's our heat here? 72. That's insane. Okay, how can we help this? I don't think there is anything we can do to help. We could add the XL gyro. Um, we have to pull out the spaces here. So we can put the patchwork in the leg. Maybe we pull out one of the smalls. This is only going to give us like what two, five small lasers. Not a whole lot, is it? Um, if we put the XL gyro in, come on, buddy, let's go. It's only giving us a half a ton. It's enough for two heat sinks, but that's not going to do much. It's really these bonus small lasers that are killing us on heat. It's like twice the amount of heat, right? So if we pull these out for now. And then we go back to weapons, and let's say we drop in regular small lasers. So that's a little better heat sinking wise. And we need to add, we have to start off with four heat sinks and add two more. Let's put the patchwork back in the center torso. So that's not bad at all. Considering he's going to be doing meleeing as well, I'm thinking that's probably the route we want to take with this guy. I mean, we could add we could have added jump jets and stuff, but I'm thinking this is the route we're going to go. Let's confirm this guy. We're gonna. I'm, I'm not convinced this is the right build for him. I'll let you know when that's done. And then refit. So this guy's going to be our fire support mech. So we've got four laser and one missile hardpoint plus some support points so we're gonna, definitely going to want the endo steel we are definitely going to want I'm not going to go with a big fusion core on this guy like I said he's fire support so so that's nine tons and we're going to need to buy some heat sinks wow I went through 20 heat sinks already so we're going to buy two more oops buy equipment heat sinks Loading. Oh, that's a pretty good price. New I'm going to buy a bunch of these. We're going to need a few. So that's probably all we can available. grab. Okay, so let's. We need to add three. So let's put one on each leg here. We want to max out the armor as well. It's one of the things we definitely want to do. And let's turn down the back armor slightly. So now we've got 12 tons left. So what are we going to do with 12 tons? Well, let's see what we got here. Can we get hands on both sides? We can. Um, there's no ballistic. We have one missile hard point, so we go, could go with an Artemis system. Uh, do we have, what do we have for missiles here? 
this room for thunderbolts. We cannot use. It's got to go in the CT too, right? It's nine tons. That's the thermal bolt. Sixty damage for nine tons, though. Plus one accuracy. Uh, or we could go with an LRM10 with an Artemis system. It'll give it a good chance to hit. Um, Thunderbolt 10. It's only 6 tons for 45 damage. And the heat is right too. It's like 13. We go on the laser side here. I mean, geez, we could put a heavy PPC in this guy. It's 55 heat though. Like you're only going to be firing that like <laughs> once every two turns. But is it worth it? Not very accurate, unfortunately. So maybe the support's going to be the large laser here. I could do a similar build to what I do in uh, my Flashpoint series, where it's a large laser and an LRM-10. I mean, that would look like... Yeah, yeah but you know what? We're going to have an issue with heat, though. We can only have one ton of ammo, so we'd have to put in regular accuracy ammo, which is only going to give us eight rounds of firing. Well, we could do... Yeah, I don't think so. Let's go laser build on this guy. So maybe he's not just a stand back fire guy. Maybe we can bring him in with medium lasers. And we go crazy laser build on this guy. Like four medium there. Do we have one more slot in the CT? No, we don't. Not for medium lasers. We could do that, and then we could add tag, which is going to help. And then we're going to need some heat sinks. So let's add, let's add three heat sinks anyway. One, two, three. What are we at now, heat wise? Yeah, and then we just add a missile system to the C CT, I think. What are we going to add, though? We could add the, the Triple Plus S SRM4 and then go buy another heatsink. Plus two SRM down. That's actually not a bad choice. Uh, let's have a look at the ammo for the SRMs. Don't have any bonus to hit ammo. Let's go to let's go to um, the store. Let's see what we got there. So let's go to weapons, missile systems. Oh, they've got another SRM4 in here too. It's the same thing that we have. SRM Artemis system, SRM plus one accuracy, that's what we want right there. Let's buy that. Uh, it's only 60 rounds, but that's fine. New equipment available. Almost out of cash here. Let's drop this into the leg. Let's drop it into this side leg. Um, yeah, and I'm thinking that's going to be it, with the exception of, oh yeah, we're supposed to buy one more heatsink. So let's go to, actually we don't need to sell a few things too, I think we're going to need some cash. So the AC2 can go, uh, one of the AC10s can go. Pirate Goss Rifle we're not going to use because of the minus two accuracy. So let's sell that. And I think that's all we need to sell for now. Let's just leave it at that. Okay, so we got one ton left. Oh yeah, that's right, we wanted to buy a heatsink. Durr. Okay, buy equipment. Heatsink. Let's have a quick look here, see if there's anything else we want. I don't think there is. Thunderbolt 20. Wow, nice. 100 damage for 12 tons. Okay, um, yeah, looks like there's nothing really here we want, so we're good. Uh, my child's downstairs playing Fortnite again and screaming. Um, so I think that's probably about it for this guy. We've used up a lot of our stuff here. Um, there's that last heat sink. Let's just put it in the head for now. So I'm thinking that's pretty darn good. I mean, I'm glad we picked up those two pieces of endo steel the last time we were... Uh, the last mission because we definitely needed them for these these builds 
So let's confirm this. Alright, so we're going to be like way over in time here. Let's manage the tasks a little better. Let's see what we can do here. Let's put the short days in. And the 10 day one will finish before... So we want to do... No, we want the 16 closer. So I'm thinking that's probably the way to go there. That'll give us 28 days till we're repaired. So the middle of next month these guys will be back. That is if these guys don't take damage in the next episode. Um, thinking we're going to end the episode here though, now that we've got these guys up and running. Um, the next episode will come back and we will take on a mission with our main lance. And probably once we start to, um, depending on how long the repairs are going to take, we might just jump systems and start heading more towards the clans like we've been doing. Try and find a really short jump or something that's going to get us close to getting our mechs fixed for the next episode. We're going to need to get some funds up and running. I mean, there's still some stuff that I can sell. Uh, I might do that between episodes just so that we have that ready to go. And um, yeah, so that's it. So we're going to end this episode here. Hope you liked it. Uh, I know it was all mech building, but um, you know, some people are really interested in that. Like, I, I really love building mechs. So I can't wait to see this Lance and how it performs on the ground. So if you haven't checked out my other, my other series, please check out my channel. I've got uh, another Rogue Tech series that's going on right now. Monkeys these Medinas, and I've also got a Battletech Flashpoint series going on right now called the 900. Check them out on my channel. Also, um, please feel free to comment. Um, I love comments. If you have any suggestions for, for mech builds or anything like that, please feel free to drop them in down below and we'll try them out. And until next time, we'll see everybody later.